Look at them go! Alright, let's do the introductions. This here is my dog, Coco Bean. She is absolutely adorable and a little shy. I am the tiger! It's time for some bad But he, They've been sleeping and playing all day. Dad, really awesome. this is your first time at Hobby Lobby. What do you think? It's phenomenal. It's time for some bago! Here we see the bago. Oh. Don't take that tone. Here we see the bago. Alright. Uh. How many points did I get? Three? Negative five. Oh! <laughs> oh, it fell, Mom! It fell when you were swinging! It went behind the. <laughs> this is what I was worried about! There it is! I'll get it, I'll get it, Mom! Look at you go! Ints, 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 ints. We are the champions! We are the champions! I am the tiger! <laughs> that just, that's a huge giant of a switch I was not prepared for! No! Alex, what are we doing? Releasing the Whopper! The Whopper! Actually, we're releasing the hot dogs. The wieners. The wieners! We are getting our dogs today! The wiener. Today is episode five. The wieners strike back. So I had an idea for a movie. I want I want to run it by you. I want to get into the I want it. Actually, that would be kind of fun. Okay, imagine a movie called The Bees Have Returned with Vengeance and Machine Guns. Mm. Would you watch that movie? No. Okay. I want to make that movie now. I just said I would want to watch it. I want to watch it. Well, they, well then just make it. But dogs. Dogs oh. first. The dogs! The tiny puppies! I'm excited. You guys get to meet Coco and Woody. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look at them go! Alright, let's do the introductions. This here is my dog, Coco Bean. She is absolutely adorable and a little shy. And this noisy little dude right here is Woody. Look at him. Hey, Coco. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, Coco. Look at her girl. She's so cute. You guys gonna go back to playing? No? It's okay, buddy. Just need to be in here while we eat. We'll give you, we'll take care of you. Take you out. I don't know if you're hungry yet. You, you did eat before we picked you up, so. Oh, well. I got gotcha. you. Good. Oh, there you guys go. Playing. Play you play together. She is just sleeping. She just finished eating. She's been sitting for a bit. And now she is napping. Oh, she's a little awake. Her eyes are open a little bit. But she is just chilling and napping. Look at this little girl. You guys will get to meet her soon, but she is so cute. What I mean by mean, you get to meet her personality. Because, oh boy, she is a silly little girl. She's feisty, she's a little shy. But she is a cuddle bug. Yes, she is. I am so excited. Hey, Coco. Hey, Coco. You wanna go back to sleep? I love how Coco's toy is bigger than her. Hey, it's Coco. Not very hard to do. So she is very shy, like I mentioned before, but she has a bit of a personality to her. She's a little rambunctious and playful. And then here's Woody. So yeah, these are the new members of the Battle Brawler family. He is a little cow bro. Look at that little dude. Look at that belly. Oh, he's lazy. He's a little lazy. But he, they've been sleeping and playing all day. Oh, you're going to play some Spider-Man? But yeah, so I wanted you guys to get a face-to-face, up-close meeting with Coco. So yeah. Like I said, she is sleepy and shy. But when she gets playful, oh man, there's her little personality come out because she's adventurous too. But yeah, so right now I think I'm going to let her sleep play with her toy, and then we'll be going to bed. I got her a little Batman bed, which I showed last month. I don't think we showed Woody's uh, bed on camera yet, mm -mm. but it is Woody from Toy Story, which is amazing. Krista, what do you think of your little baby? I love him. He's perfect. He's perfect in every way. But you know what? Coco is perfect, too. So that's day one with the dogs. Hey, Dad, really this is your first time at Hobby Lobby. What do you think? It's phenomenal.
spent a whole day in here. Awesome. Including the superhero section, yeah, including this is probably the, like this is one of the coolest agree, stores agree. I've this seen. This is awesome. Genuine Ford, I love that. Man. I love this Hot Wheels right here. This Hot Wheels is awesome. I'm looking at this right now. I love I love the deco art here where it's very colorful. Oh man, those chargers are beautiful cars. Got a Shelby. Uh, ooh. Oh, these are cool. They're like the, almost like the vintage gas stations. Oh, here's they used to have these when I was a kid. Oh, those are um, okay. So when Dad when Lego first started, yeah. they actually had deals. So there are so the old Lego sets had this as their gas stations, and they reference it in uh, Toy Story and a lot of the Pixar films. It's so cool. Is it fair to assume that 93% of all Battle Brawl production content will now involve two tiny dachshunds? I mean, I would be thrilled if that was the case. I love how the toy I got Coco is bigger than her. Like this little bottle. Like, it is bigger than her. That's it's cute. as big. It's the door. Oh, she likes the donut now. She hey, liked... Bro. I think I left her favorite toy downstairs, a little hedgehog. But we're going to play some games, and we got some loot to go over real quick. Right, Alex? That's right. Yes. Starting with the long Halloween, yep. the non-comic guy of the group gets into it. Yeah, so he actually beat me to it because I w had the chance to get it and I decided Next to go- Next thing you know, I'm going to make sh two videos. <laughs> damn, that uh, oh my God. that uh, like, that hit a little too close to home. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, <laughs> that was a good joke. That was good, but I- I'm gonna go cry in my room now. <laughs> I'm gonna cry to sweat through my house. I'm, pl I'm playing, but that was funny. <laughs> yeah, the other that was good. Away. So taking a break from the puppies just for a little bit, we do have some loot to show off. So the first place we did was we went to the comic shop today, which as you can see, is got my normal bag. It's full of loose ends and a bunch of stuff that I honestly just thought would be really cool to look at and see, including the first issue of the Mighty Crusaders, which I love that team. I think they're really cool. Plus Rob Liefeld was drawing it. So I'm really curious to see how it looked. I honestly picked it up to make fun of it, but looking at the first few pages, just the first few, I haven't gone through the whole book. I haven't read it. The art actually isn't bad you could tell he's definitely improved over time so we'll, we'll see if some of his other little quirks and traits come in there but i will be giving you guys an update as i read it then we have these rulers here from hobby lobby so all the loot here is from hobby lobby including this awesome magnet that alex saw this is of batman from batman hush jim lee art absolutely love it cool magnet i also have these rulers here so this big one i thought would be really cool because has the slit here and then a bunch of these holes so that'd be really nice to do perspective for like cities just kind of thought it'd be nice to have it was cheap too it was only like 8 90 which I thought was a good price. Then for $2, they had this flat ruler, which I will be using for penciling because as you can see, it's clear. And it also has a bunch of little lines here, which is super nice to use just small little stuff like windows. And then the last rule I picked up was this small one, but it's raised because it has this little piece of wood. And this was $5, so it's a little cheap little magnet uh, metal ruler. So very, very nice. In fact, it's kind of cool because you can get the magnet to stick to it, which I thought was funny. But yeah, so that's this ruler. This is more for inking small areas. So I wanted to bring out the big ruler for it. And then the last big thing that I picked up that I actually thought was really cool was we found this random hole-in-the-wall toy store. It's called Yester Toys. So there you go. You can check it out. Can give them some promotions because they were really chill guys. They're really friendly, super nice. And they had this for sale. Boom. This is the Grapple Launcher Replica. This is by NECA Toys. And it's, of course, from Batman the Main Series. Take some weird batteries that I need to go out and get at Walmart probably tomorrow. But yeah. Saw this, absolutely had to have it. They aren't making Batarangs from this as far as I know. I think they're just going to do the ones from Batman, the Adventures Continue, but I do know they will make some for Batman Beyond. So very excited to open these up, find a home for them, and get this a try because I am very excited. I have very big hands, so hopefully it will actually fit and scale with me. And this is also by NECA. And let me tell you something, NECA, they make good stuff. Trust me, I know. But that's everything for today. So I'll be reading comics, enjoying my day off, and spending time with my tiny puppy. Look at him go. Look at him go. Come here, guys. Go, go, Woody. Yeah, they're, they're having too much fun fighting. Too much fun. Oh, here they go. Look at him go. Hey, 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 too violent. No. No. Hey. Really, Coco? She's so cute.
Hey, Mom. You like Coco? You got a buddy? You want her? No, she's fine. That's awesome that you guys are buddies. So today I have a very interesting and oddity for battle loot, as today's loot is not mine, and it actually wasn't gotten today. This was loot that my dad got about two days ago and decided that he wanted to show you guys it because of how cool he thought it was, and he's debating taking it out of the packaging or opening it. He's, it's kind of that debate where it's one of those things where it's really cool, hasn't decided yet, and that is this NECA figure of the Phantom. First off, absolutely awesome. We saw this, I actually saw this first and I was like, Dad, you gotta get this, because my dad is a Mego guy. He likes Migos. He likes Migos far more than he actually likes normal action figures. But I told him, like, Dad, it's the Phantom. You gotta pick it up. You have to pick up the figures of the Phantom when you see them. He is Australia's number one superhero. He is one of the first pulp heroes ever. And if you ever wonder where the Whites of the Eyes came from in superhero comics, it specifically came from the Phantom. This is my dad's second one favorite hero. It's really a tie between him and Space Coast. It depends on the day or how much of one show he watched or how many comics he read because he'll say the Phantom's his favorite or he'll say Space Ghost is his favorite so either way this is awesome this is from Defenders of the Earth which was a cartoon that actually combined several different pulp characters such as Mandrake the Magician, Luthor, and Flash Gordon. There's also Ming the Mercils which was their main enemy who is a Flash Gordon enemy and this is the Phantom you can see the bio here. What's cool about this is that he has a few different hands he has one for his plasma rifle because you couldn't have a gun so instead of his two guns he had a little like plasma hand rifle thing plasma blaster hand cannon I don't know what you want to call it and then he also has a little blaster for his ring hand which is awesome and he comes with this dude here I forget his name but he was like the cheap little mascot that was meant to be cute but was just annoying in the show so very very nice, very cool. I actually kind of want to pick up one for myself, and I would actually love to pick up the entire set, minus Ming. You know, I want to get my heroes in there because Mandrake and Luthor look awesome, but Flash Gordon, he looks really cool. And then the Phantom, awesome. Head's a little off. I think the expression is just kind of a little too stern, but I love the muscular build. The articulation looks good, and I would have preferred him to have both holsters, but this is, of course, accurate to this incarnation of the Phantom. So, very cool. Had to show it to you guys. All right, guys. So I decided to take a break from filming this video. I'm actually doing a custom Ghost Rider figure. And for some reason, the black wash on camera looks way more intense than it is actually in person. Not sure why. But I decided to actually go to Jerry's today before filming because I had to pick up some stuff for my dad. And the only thing I picked up for me was something that I thought was really interesting. At least the only thing I thought was showing was this sketchbook right here. This is by Rendar No Show Through Paper. So it kind of gives you a little example of how their paper doesn't show through, but competitors do. It's apparently works with all mediums, so really interested in this. The paper doesn't feel that special, so thought it'd be interesting. Of course, this is the normal scale that we use. I actually think it may be a little bigger than that, but either way, I actually really, really like this. Oh no, it's the same 11 by 14, so it just kind of looks bigger, I guess. I don't know why. And then Chris and Alex went out of town and came back with this for me, a Batman fan. I love it. I'm going to find a home for it. But that's pretty much everything for today. Uh, I was hoping to do more filming, but I just had some stuff come up, had to get my car inspected. All that fun adult jazz, so hopefully I'll be able to get some stuff done later this week. We shall see. But yeah, I actually can't wait to try this out because this looks pretty interesting. So, I'd be lying if I said today was not a rough day. In fact, yesterday was a very rough day as well. But, um, moved on. I'm ready to just kind of get this week over with and focus on next week because some good stuff's going to be happening. You guys will have to wait a whole month to see it, but oh boy, it's going to be awesome. Either way. I have some interesting loot today because I purchased six Hot Wheels. I thought about holding out my hand, but I can only go to five because my other hand's holding the camera. So I picked up six Hot Wheels, and they all kind of have a theme where there was just really cool stuff that I couldn't pass up on. Now, I am not a Hot Wheel collector. I'm not someone, I don't know why, I just know this, this book is... Oh, that's as far as it goes. This is the first time I've noticed this book actually hands out that much. Huh. I thought it said flush. Either way, so I'm not a Hot Wheel collector, as in like I professionally collect Hot Wheels, I know which ones are the most valuable. No, that's not me. Now, I do have a small collection of Hot Wheels, mostly Batmobiles and Bat vehicles, and different like, especially like the Marvel stuff, like I love the like Spider Buggy, and I absolutely love the Ghost Rider Hell Charger. Like stuff like that, like stuff that's comic book or cartoons, I really like that. And then I also have a small collection of just different vehicles. And that's because I like to have a reference of different vehicles that I can use if I need to draw it. So instead of going out and looking for, let's say, an ambulance. I need an ambulance from this angle. I have to go find one, take a picture of it, or just spend hours on Google. I can just set a toy Hot Wheel of one, take a picture, and then there's my reference. So that's how I like to use them. I also have a lot of Star Wars ones because I have a friend that loves Star Wars, and I always like to draw stuff. So there you go. That's usually how that works. So the six Hot Wheels I picked up 
fall into had to happen because they're really cool and collectible this would be cool to have to draw and then i kind of like what they did here so we're going to start with the i kind of like what they did here and they have this Volkswagen Beetle, but this Volkswagen Beetle, and it is Herbie the Love Bug. Yeah, it says love. It's a white beetle, but it's obviously meant to be Herbie the Love Bug, and I love it. Now, obviously, they don't have the right to it, so that's why it doesn't say movie. That's why it doesn't have the design, but I love that little thing. I thought that was really clever and fun, so it made me laugh, so I thought, I see what you did there. The second one is this cool little truck which advertises Arizona. Now these two I thought were really cool for references. This is a do Custom 7 Honda N60, which it's just kind of like a generic cartoony car to me. I don't know the, I'm not a car guy, I don't know the history of cars, but I thought it'd just be fun to have to draw. And I don't know why, but it almost looks like the door can open the way it's perforated, but it can't. So just kind of weird detail. Either way, I thought it was cool, again, for a dollar. And then speaking of ambulances, it's not an ambulance, but it is a one of those like rescue service vehicles. So why not? Figured I'd do it. An actual ambulance doesn't have like this open part here. So that's how you can tell. That was cool. Now the other two I thought were just absolutely amazing. I absolutely had to have them when I saw them. The first one being Steamboat Willie. This is just, this is cool. This is so cool. It is of course, you know, Mickey Mouse, obviously, you know, black and white, but this is such a cool, unique Hot Wheel. I've never seen one like this before. I've never seen a boat like Hot Wheel like this, let alone Steamboat Willie. So that's just absolutely amazing. Super cool, of course, on the back. And this is part of their movie series. And this is nine of 10. The other one here, this one, I saw this. I absolutely had to have it. It blew my mind. This is for the new Batman movie, The Batmobile, which this is actually the first look that I've gotten of the Batmobile. Like not just from the trailers, not from the teaser, like from an actual solid representation of the vehicle. And oh boy, I am very excited. I actually like the design of this like muscle car on steroids. It's something more realistic. It's something a little different. You know, we've gotten the elongated cars. We've gotten the tanks, you know, something more street muscle. I'm really excited to see how that's actually going to play out in the movie. And I actually do like this Batmobile. I think it's a nice little, just something different, something unique. So very happy. I actually picked up two because I got one from and one for Alex, so I'm gonna keep this one in the box and find a home for it somewhere on the wall. I'm debating if I want to keep this one in the box, we will see, and the rest will be open. I'm doing some writing, so that's why I have some paper here. And I am just super tired, you could just see it on my face and hear it in my voice, so we're going to go pass out now. Night! Hey Dad, first time in Hobby Town in like what six months, and they have a giant Gundam. You know the sad part is, Dad? This isn't even life size. This is life size for like if I had a six inch action figure that fits in the chest. But like, think about that. Like, for this to be life size, like if we were a six inch figure, it would be to scale. That's crazy. Absolutely. I love the detail too. Not a good, huge Gundam fan, but I appreciate a good piece of art. I wish I could say that's exactly how I expected this month to end. In actuality, no, it is not. Now I got two pieces of loot from Hobby Town that I thought were absolutely amazing and I had to actually show you guys because it just blew my mind. Now this month has been kind of quiet. I've really only gotten comics and a few things here and there, but that's because there's just been a lot of things coming up this month. I'm getting ready for school and I got a big announcement for next month that you're going to have to stay tuned to uh, check out. I'm super excited about it. So hopefully everything goes well because it's one of those things where it involves multiple parties. So if everything aligns, it's going to be awesome. So do stay tuned for that. But the loot that I found at Hobby Town was one that my dad bought, which is this Phantom model. Now the Phantom is of course one of my dad's favorite superheroes of all time, probably his most favorite tied only with Space Coast. And this is a really cool looking model. Now, for some reason, it's the Phantom and the Voodoo Witch Doctor. Not gonna lie, kind of weird. I would prefer just the Phantom. And it is molded in just solid purple plastic. So if you do open it very slowly, there you go. You have the Phantom and you have the Voodoo Witch Doctor. Pretty cool, pretty interesting. So I actually can't wait to paint this. I'm probably gonna paint it on my actual channel. So we'll have some fun with that. I just did a Ghost Rider Mego video. So hopefully that's up. Hopefully you guys would have liked it. If so, it will definitely help guide the content we're gonna be making. I'm just gonna put this to the side. I'm not gonna struggle trying to close it. But that's what he picked up. I did spot it though. I said, hey dad, look at the Phantom. And he was like, oh, I gotta get that because it's the Phantom. I'm like, yeah, it's the Phantom, gotta do it. But for me, 
I picked this up here. This is Ultraman from the new Ultraman manga. And let me tell you something. I love Ultraman. I grew up with Ultraman. I love Ultraman. I watched all the old shows. Now, I'm more familiar with the original, traditional Ultraman, the first one, you know, Hayata. But I absolutely do love the franchise. I've tuned in here and there to see what they do, you know, now and again. And while I still love the original, I, it just, Ultraman is one of those characters that just has a special place in my heart because my dad grew me up watching the old show and I love it. And this is Ultraman from the new manga. That's right, there is an Ultraman manga out. I've read, I think, the first seven or eight chapters and it's pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I did fall out of it a couple years back, so I'm probably going to jump in it soon. I think they're up to 24 chapters. I could, or 24 volumes, my apology. So I could be wrong there. Either way, I'm really excited to start reading it again because I really did like the series of what they were doing. And I want a little figure of him. Most of the time, like, I don't want to pay $50 for the model kit or I don't want to pay $50 for the SH figure. It's one. I just want something nice. And this was cool. This was $8 and it's this nice little three inch figure. It kind of took me back because when I started collecting figures when I was like 16, 17, which, oh my gosh, it's like 10 years ago. Guys, that's 10 years ago when I started doing YouTube. Man, do I feel old. Uh, a lot of times the three inch figures that I would collect, they were actually $8. And then they slowly bumped up to about 12, 13, and then they stopped making them. And I was a huge fan of three inch figures. Of course, obviously Marvel Universe right there. I have a ton of them. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, really happy about this. Really did kind of bring me back. Really nice figure. Comes with a few different hands. Pretty good articulation. Solid paint job. And again, stay tuned for a really big announcement that's really going to affect the channel. Again, it's if all parties align, everything goes good, it's going to be something big. So do stay tuned for that. And I thank you guys for watching the video. Subscribe to channel for more art and animation-based content. And remember, I'm J-Rod at Battle Productions. I draw power and my own soul.